prepping and lubing your 1911 for carry. So first of all, if you haven't checked out my detail strip guide, check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Getting right into it. So first of all, we have our frame here. So I have the grip panel removed. You want oil, a light coat of oil underneath the grip panel if you're running G10 or rubber grips because moisture will get trapped underneath those grip panels and you will get rust. So what I do is I use a heavy dose of blue Loctite for the bushings. Tighten those up, leave those there, don't touch them. And then the grip screws get a light dose of Loctite or you can use rubber O-rings so the grips don't come loose. Um, if you're using Loctite, again, on the grip screws, make sure it's a light, light dab. Just enough to keep them locked into place, but not, in, not too much to the point where you're taking the bushings with you when you take them apart. Um, and again, light coat of oil underneath there. All right, so next, mag catch, spring and lock. That's gonna be, that whole assembly there is gonna be clean and dry. Clean and dry, okay? The trigger and trigger bow, and the trigger bow channel here, the trigger channel inside the frame, those are gonna be clean and dry as well, okay? Clean and dry. So those two are done. Um, grip safety, clean and dry. If it is carbon steel, you're worried about rust, you can apply some oil as rust preventative. Slide stop and safety. Both pins are gonna have a light coat of oil, okay? I also like to do the underside of the safety the entire thing with a light coat of oil as well. Uh, let's see here, sear spring, light coat of oil to prevent rust. Okay, so hammer, sear and disconnector pins, both get a light coat of oil to prevent rust. Hammer hooks get a light coat of oil, okay, both of them. Light coat of oil, sear and disconnector get a light coat as well. And then, when your disconnector is installed, comes in through the frame right here, that's going to get a light dab of grease. Grease, not oil, okay? All right, um, this gun has a reverse plug. This is gonna get a light coat of oil. If you're using a GI type gun, like uh, with a standard barrel bushing, I like to use grease on the barrel bushing lug, all right, and on the bushing itself. All right, so next, recoil spring and guide, light coat of oil. All right, mainspring housing, I like to do a light coat on the sides, the rails here that install into the frame, rust preventative, then mainspring housing pin, light coat of oil, and light coat of oil on the mainspring housing spring, cap, and pin, and retainer pin as well. All right, plunger tube assembly here. I generally do a light coat of oil to prevent against rust. I just don't go too crazy. Barrel, the link gets oil. Barrel lugs get grease. Outside of the barrel gets a light, light, light coat of grease. All right, slide. The firing pin, the firing pin spring in the extractor are both clean and dry, as are the firing pin channels, channel and the uh, extractor channel. Both clean and dry for all four of those things. Okay, so the channels and the parts themselves. Okay, lubrication for the slide. I use grease, rails, lugs here, and where the bushing is. All right. Now frame, I'm going to do grease on the rails as well. Okay. Once I reinstall, I will lock the gun to the rear and just give a good wipe down of the breech face and everything you see here. Okay, breech face, side of the slide, etc. Make sure it's dry. All right, that's it. Um, hope you liked it. Any questions, ask, like, and subscribe. Thank you.